Welcome back to my channel. This week is a little bit of a bonus video on kind of like my planning space room tour, I guess, and then how I organize my stickers. So my dogs are currently sleeping right now, but this is a guest bedroom, so of course it's going to have a bed in it, and then this is my new desk, my new work area. So yeah, I'll just take you in. I want to start off in the closet. Ooh. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, the lighting in here is going to be bad, but this is where I keep all my washi stored. My Cricut. This area is not even remotely organized right now. It's really, it's just all of my craft supplies. And then the desk actually came with these four baskets, so I've been utilizing them pretty well in the top drawer. This is going to be the things that I use most often. Leftover stickers. This is going to have like all of my happy planner type stickers and Erin Condren books in it. I don't use those very often. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with them right now, but yeah, so that's kind of what it is, what's in there. It's kind of like a catch-all drawer like I think we all have in our kitchens. But this is where I usually keep all of my Sweet Quiet Design binders and all my stickers. Right now it just has the Coffee Monsters Co. book in it. And it has all of my Michael stuff in it. My journal and my like dot grid journal that I was doodling in for a little bit last year. And here is all the stuff from BoxyCharm that I want to try and sell and get rid of. Down here is all of my Let's Make Art. All my watercolor stuff as it comes in. And then this down here is going to end up being dedicated to my Color Street stuff. So I know the lighting's pretty bad on that. If you guys want more of like what's in my drawers, I can do a separate video on that. But Right now I just got done filming a video for Serafina Fragrance Co. And I have all my binders sitting there because it's planning a little bit. Got my Facebook up. Got my coffee. I've got my watercolors over here. And my like on the go planner pin bag. These are all my Tombows. Different sets of pins and markers. Just a bunch of little random stuff. So. Yeah, that's pretty much my room tour, but then I know you guys also asked about doing like a sticker organization, so I'm going to go ahead and get into that right now. Okay, so this is going to be the majority of my stickers right here. Um, again, like I said, I had that little tub that had some Happy Planner stickers and some Aaron Condren stickers that I don't really use anymore, but this is what I use most often. I just dug this out. so. I purchased stuff from the Coffee Monsters Co. like more than a year ago. So all of this stuff inside here is old. But a couple weeks ago I decided like blend together Coffee Monsters Co., Simply Gilded, and Sweet Quai Design. And I didn't hate it. I was afraid that if I mixed stuff from shops that I wasn't going to like it. But I think I'm past that now. So I dug out the Coffee Monsters Co. book again. This is just a photo album. A 4x6 photo album from the Dollar Tree, I think. Um, it came with like the glitter paper in it. So all I did was stick a little Coffee Monsters symbol with a little Happy Meal sticker. And then inside I just had like all my freebies stacked up over here. And then I'll just flip through what I do have. So yeah, I haven't used these in quite some time. But I am excited to get them back out and incorporate them into my spreads again. Because they are cute. They're funny. Like I just forgot how much I loved these until I was using them again. So... I've got some things in here now that I definitely can't use, like the highlighters. I'm not going to use those for work. I work in a school, but I don't really need those anymore. Um, school stickers, I don't really need. I don't even really use these work stickers anymore either. So, And I have a ton of those. I don't know what I was thinking. I work every day, Monday through Friday, so I don't know. I don't know. I got the, I don't know. 
Um, actually, I do know. I got them when my husband was working, like, alternating shifts. That's what I got them for, and now I don't use them. So, I know I need to go through my stickers and make a stack of things that I can give away to someone else so that they can get good use out of them, so... I got the sticker album from Sweet Quiet Design. This was one of the first released albums, so it's not as tall as the one she's releasing now. And I actually, it's Freebie Friday, so I just purchased another album that is a little bit taller. So these weekly kits from Sweet Quiet Design from Michaels should fit in there. Right now they don't. They would stick out quite a bit, and I could just put them in here. I just don't want to ruin anything, so... I had this little Simon on my phone, so I took him off. He's still in good condition, so I just stuck him there. But yeah, these sheets from Michaels fit really well in here. I find myself, if I have them all spread out and not in a book, I'm more apt to use them. I think probably quite a few people are like that too, because this way you can like flip through in your mind. It, like I'm a visual learner. So in my mind, I know that this page, I may not know what everything is on there, but I know it's on the left side. So if I'm looking for it, I can just like focus my attention on the left side. I know it's there. But yeah, so I have all of the functional kit stuff that was released at Michael's. I've used it sparingly, but there's a lot of good stuff in here that I would like to use more of. So... This just had a lot more stuff in it that Tasia doesn't offer on her website or Etsy right now. Um, just because she was able to do more variety with things through the Michaels Avenue. Also, you get foil. So, I'm enjoying having this as an option to use. And again, like I said, I don't even actually miss... Or I don't even mind mixing like these Michael stickers with her actual vinyl stickers from her shop. So... Um, I did, or I do have extra pages in the back at this time. I actually have quite a bit, but like I said, these don't quite fit in there, so I don't know what I'll stick in there because I already have binders that I'm using and they're working for me, so I don't want to keep buy buying more sticker binders, even though they are super nice. Like, I already have these, so I don't want to be wasteful. So right now, the weekly kits, I have just really honestly sitting in my drawer there. It doesn't bother me that they're not in something, but like I said, I just purchased that album, so they should fit now. Okay, so going into my three binders here. I'm going to start with the one on top. I'm going to move the others out of the way. I'm going to take a drink of my coffee. Oh my goodness, it's still hot. Okay, the world's a little bit better now, so... This is the first binder I ever had to put stickers in. So as you can see on the side, I do have them kind of tabbed off into sections. I just got the tabs. Oh, I can't remember the brand of them, but they're name brand. You, Target also carries like on off brand. I'm sure other stores do too. But I just cut them in half. I labeled what I thought was best applicable for these stickers that I had. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in. Just so you guys can be as close as possible. So, my first tab here is just functional. So, this is where I'm going to have my, like, leftover. These are, like, old clouds from monthly overview kits, I think. And then these are leftover utensil clouds. Um, I I am so excited that Tasia put out the gardening kit that has the, fl or the clouds back in them. Because I don't use them for their utensil purpose. Like, you're supposed to layer the utensil over it and then write down what you're going to have for dinner. I don't do that. I don't do that at all. But I love using these as kind of like a mix of like a quarter box or half box kind of thing. And I layer an icon over it. And then I just put it there in my spread. And I love it. I was kind of hoarding onto what I had left because I felt like I was running out. I used to have like a whole page and a half of these. And I just went through using them like crazy. And then she kind of stopped putting them in her kits for a while. And I was freaking out. So I kind of stopped. But now that I see that it's back in the gardening kit, even though I don't think... I I don't garden. I don't really do yard work. That's really kind of my husband's thing. He really enjoys it, so I'm going to leave that up to him. But they exist again, so I'm <laughs> kind of excited. 
Okay, flipping through all my functional stuff. So just random like critter headers, the important, seriously, don't forget. These are all like leftovers from various kits. I've just kind of grouped them into like things. So important, reminder, canceled, day off, which I very rarely use these. Then you've got all the typography of those kind of things too. So I just, they're in the functional section. Going into school and work. I'm not in school anymore, so I don't think I really need these. I could use these for work because I work in schools, so I, don't, I think that's why I've held on to them, but I don't know. If I don't start using them, they're probably going to go on a giveaway pile. So, um, These little George with the pencils I do use for work quite a bit. And then I have my meeting stickers, which I fly through way too quickly. And then the little pixie on the laptop. I think this is one of my more favorite new stickers that she's released. I just really like that whole idea. Like, I feel, one, I wish I had purple hair. But two, like, I just feel like that's kind of me some days behind my laptop getting a bunch of paperwork done. So, I don't know. I, I really like those, especially for editing and uploading videos for YouTube, too. So, then we go into bills and money. Um, just the little icons. Again, these were at one point... I was using them in my monthly overview, and I don't really use them anymore, so I don't know what I'm doing with them. I've used them occasionally, but not consistently. I have these bill due flags that I would use to pair up with the, the little icons here, but I don't know. Right now, I've been using the George, and I love George so much, so I, don't, I haven't really used those clouds either. So here's like my money and bill due leftovers from various kits. At some point when I ended up getting like a bunch of dollars, I ended up putting all of my extras into a giveaway pile, like a de-stash pile, because I, I don't get paid every day, so I don't need that much like flags and money symbols. So again, just more little pugs with all the money. The time to budget stickers are one of my favorites. What budget? I don't use that enough. I feel like that's been me this week on spring break. I'm so sorry to my husband, but I've purchased a lot of planner supplies in the month of March, and it is March 15th, so there's that. <laughs> then I move on to travel, so I've got my little cars, I've got airplanes, leftover cruise stickers, airplanes, so the majority of this is Sweet Quiet Design. However, Darshell got me this, Darshell from Books and Planners got me this sheet from Fox and Cactus because my husband skydives and I liked using the little planes to kind of signify that he skydives, but um, she bought me some of those because for a while there, Tasia quit putting these little airplanes. It was like two months, I think, that they weren't in the monthly overview and I was like, oh lord. I've already had to ask people to send me their little airplanes. I don't know what I'm going to do. My husband's really trying to get, like, a ton of jumps this summer. So uh, we're going to spend a lot of time out there. So I know I'm going to fly through these like crazy. Um, and then we're going into cleaning. So little trash cans. George taking out the trash. George the laundry air filters, and then like miscellaneous leftover cleaning stickers. Quite a few of these actually came on, oh, like samplers or like the freebie Fridays or just a little freebie that you get when you purchase orders. So I just make a collection of the leftovers. This is kind of like home improvement type stuff. Honestly, don't know why this is there. I would I want to use this for like changing your bedding. I know Tasia had some in her kits for a while that were like specifically change your bedding, but I could use those. Then I go into dogs. So I have the little vet appointment stickers, walk the dog, heartworm medication, flea meds, which I don't they get these when they go to the vet now. I don't have to give it to them anymore, so at least I don't think. Yeah, I give I think I give them their flea meds like once every quarter, so I don't I don't know that I need these anymore either, but I guess I'll just hold on to them for a bit. The little pup in a bath for when they go to the groomers, the little vet stickers, just a little happy dog. I don't know why I got those other than I love my dogs. <laughs> I clearly haven't really used them to their full advantage. Then I have a health and wellness tab. Again, these are just like leftover, like leftovers from kits. And then I have a little hedgehog working out 
with my George Yogas, I don't know how these ended up in the same page, honestly, but I know they're there now. I have my stash of Unicorn Yogas because these are no longer in the shop because they weren't Tasia's original art. So I hoarded these. I, they're just working really perfectly in my spreads right now, but once they're gone, they're gone. So I'm going to use them up until I have no more left. <laughs> uh, little scales. Change our contacts. I actually have dailies now, so I change my contacts daily. I don't need to put one of these down, so that's probably going to go into a giveaway. Um, replace toothbrush. Again, like, I just, sometimes I just do it without even, like, I don't even think about the sticker anymore, so I don't know. I need to get better at using this and then the Charge with Fitbit stickers because over the summer I feel like I do a good job at tracking this in my planner, but... So far this year it's not gone well, and then the next thing I know, oh, that's cute. I've had like black soot all over my finger this whole time. <laughs> but since this year I have not done a good job, and then I'll look down and my charger's dead. So there's that. Uh, clean makeup brushes, again, I do that way more than I've ever put stickers down. And then I go, I have some like sick day stickers some blender stickers because I feel like they kind of go into that health and wellness and I use them when I go to Sunshine Nutrition. Then I have the Go on a Walk stickers that I just got, the Run Tracker stickers that I just got too. Then we go into appointments, which I feel like I could kind of mix in with the health and wellness, but um, doctor's appointment, dentist appointment, hair appointment, r uh, miscellaneous leftover appointment clouds, and then we go into self-care. So I've got a bunch of little extras of these, like the nail polish, haircuts, um, nap time. I don't, I don't nap anymore. So, um, these are just like, a lot of these specifically came from freebies or freebie Friday stuff. So I've just got an array of these and I don't, I don't know. These aren't really organized necessarily, but. We've got the Social Battery Low stickers, which I don't feel like I use enough. And then we go into TV. So I've got the binge watching. I've got this sheet from Creating & Co. that I just got. It's like the little big TV with the remote. Because honestly, if I'm binge watching, that's taking up a lot of my day. If I'm not doing anything else, I'm binge watching a TV show. So it needs to take up a lot of space. Um, and then these are just kind of miscellaneous leftovers. The little couch guys. I put my football stickers in here because I watch my football on TV, so that's that. I also have my YouTube stickers in here because when I watch YouTube, it's on my TV through my Apple TV, so it's in the TV section. Movies are kind of also in there as well. So going on to reading, I have these elephants reading. I have a ton of reading stickers. I have this is what's left of my Darshell freebie from forever ago. So um, I need to get better at this. I'm really trying um, to get into reading. I joined Darshell's little book club that she's trying to do, and that's I'm gonna start doing that in April. So I'm, goodness, I'm trying. I used to read all the time, and I just got out of it. I just got so busy with school and got burnt out with having to read, like being forced to read, so. Trying to get back into it slowly for pleasure, but my husband and I are making our way through the Harry Potter books, so anytime we start or stop a book, I've been trying to use these. And then we go into food and drink, so miscellaneous leftover food stuff. Got my meal subscriptions, which we're not doing right now, but I'm going to hold on to these because I kind of go in phases where we do them, don't do them, do them, don't do them. My crock pots and instapots are in the same one. Then I have the little Simon Chefs, the little Taco from Taco Tuesday, $2 Tuesday. I picked up a couple of those. Takeout, pizza, beer. I love these beer stickers. <laughs> oh man, I use them too much. And then just like leftover food related things. The Petunia Hungry Ones. And then kind of we're moving into some coffee. So those are just miscellaneous coffee leftovers. I just got a new sheet of these. I need a coffee this size on my butt. I've got the like double coffee from the cow, Bessie. 
uh, coffee shop stickers. I've got these little macaroon. Uh, these were from a freebie Friday. I haven't used any, but I have them here with the coffee stuff. Got some sushi. <laughs> it's kind of just a mix. Okay, so then we go into social and date. I try and FaceTime with my friend Stephanie from Florida quite regularly, so we try and use these to track when we do that. I've got game night stickers and bingo stickers. And then I use the Itty Bitty Otter Love stickers for like date night with my husband. And then we have just like miscellaneous date night stickers. Uh, Freebie Friday from June 8th. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this does not seem like this Freebie Friday was that long ago. And that was almost a year. Oh lord. Whew, okay, so time flies. I've also got these little sloth detectives for when I do my Hunt a Killer subscription box with my husband, which we're doing one tonight. So I'm really pumped for that. And then I have the art supplies kit. I started doing the Let's Make Art watercoloring box, and I wanted to put the paints down when I do that. And then I work in the schools, so crayons are always. I can use them for anything, anything crafty. Um, I used this binder when I was using other kits um, from subscriptions, so this was like all their little like freebie codes that we got. I just put them back here. These are the ones that I couldn't take off. Um, the, the codes don't work anymore, so yeah. Okay, binder number one is done. <laughs> On to binder number two, which is a spillover of the other binder, as well as additional to my like functional stuff that I have that is not the clouds and things like that. So, in the front, I just have this little hand lettering book that I haven't actually done, but it fit nicely in here when I was living in Wichita for 12 weeks. I have a packet of my Simply Gilded seals. So there's that. And then on to shopping. I have all the post office trucks, order stickers, happy mail, grocery icons, target icons, subscription box things, subscription box stickers. Then we go into birthday. So I have the yippee skippy kind of stuff with the, the George celebrating, uh, different party critters. Party critters? Party animals, excuse me. Then I have the little cakes, um, miscellaneous from the leftover monthly overview stuff. Then we go into planning and miscellaneous where it's just a hodgepodge of stuff. I've got my planning stickers and so for these they come on the freebies so I just kind of keep track of how many I have otherwise they get put, I don't know, I think they get put into a stash to get given away because I don't need to hoard that many, so. Then I have the Poe flipping off. I've got the It's Too Hot to Function. I've got the Burning Bra. I've got the expletive sayings. I'm getting really good at saying expletive. I'm working on it. Um, and then I've got like my Crafty Time stickers with that Crafty Freebie, which I'm so, so happy that that kit came out. Um, and then Tasia just came out with the photo album or like the sticker album that has like the crafting design on the front. So I've got the Kiss My Fluff stickers, which is kind of how I felt yesterday. And then this is just truly this is miscellaneous leftover. Fits nowhere else. I have no idea what to do with them. So these are kind of seasonal type things like starting with New Year's, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Spring, Summer. And then we go into like kind of fall and this is all I have left of winter type stickers. And then I've got the different decorating for the holidays freebie. And then just like my die cuts and miscellaneous freebies here that I didn't quite want to take apart for some reason. All my Christmas freebies. And then we get into more of my like truly functional. They're left over full boxes. Then my half boxes, these are leftovers, and then these are just $2 Tuesday sheets that I've picked up. And then my quarter boxes that I've picked up. I like having leftover quarter boxes and half boxes in this binder because sometimes I just run out of a color that I'm looking forward to using in a kit, and so I can just come here, and generally I have 
what I'm looking for. And then these are just leftover quarter boxes from kits. Then in the back of this, I have extra sticker sheets that I just kind of hoard. The tall ones from the Kawaii or the Mystery Kit, I put back here because they fit nicely in here and you can fit extra stickers on. So in a perfect world, I'll eventually move over all of my leftover stickers onto these tall sheets. But that's going to be a chore, so I haven't done it yet. And then I have a few leftover sheet protectors in the back of this binder. Binder number two is done. Okay, binder number three houses my kits, or leftover kits. So this is my April monthly overview that I haven't put down yet. I've got a couple of dashboards, journaling cards, and then for the Kawaii or the mystery kits, until I feel like I've used the entirety of a kit, or at least to the point of what I'm going to use it for, it goes back in here. So like I just planned with this one week, so it's back in here to stay for a little bit. I've planned with this kit for a week, so it's staying in here. The bees kit for a week, it's staying in here. Uh, the knitted winter I've done two, two weeks on, so I, I'm getting close. I can probably finesse one more week out of this but it's not winter anymore, so it'll sit here for at least a little bit longer until I decide what I'm actually doing. I do have a kit from Creating & Co. for the Game of Thrones premiere. I have the bee kit that my husband's going to be planning with, so, oh, I'm so excited for that. That's going to be so much fun. So I have that. Then I have the Disney-themed kit that I will use in November. So that's all the kits that I have. Honestly, I don't... I don't have that many right now. It feels great, actually, because I'm trying to use what I have. I don't need to buy any more, except that I have more coming. Because like I said, I've purchased more planner supplies in the month of March than I think I purchased the majority of last year. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. So that is it guys, that is all of my sticker organization, a little tiny room tour that I showed you. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, comment down below and I will do my best to answer them. If you want to see anything else in my room, let me know. There's not a lot to it. It's not that fancy. We've only lived here, I say we've only lived here, we've lived here three and a half years now. Yeah. And this room is minimally decorated, and this desk is brand new, so I was planning out my closet just even, a, like, two months ago, so. Alright, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you are subscribed so you get my regularly uploaded videos, and, like, this is a bonus video, so if you want to make sure you see those sprinkled throughout the week, you need to be subscribed. And then if you hit the little bell for the notifications, it'll notify you every time that I put up a video which is super cool for when Darshal and I put up buddy plane videos. So that's all I've got for you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you are enjoying your day and it is bright and sunny like it is here. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Bye guys.